leave a like and subscribe if you find this helpful. Now in this guide, I'm breaking down the archer build on Legend of Mushroom. This build is for the crossbow path of archers, which will end once you reach Plume Monarch. All items and skills in this guide will be accessible without events, so everyone can follow this guide. The main bonuses from the crossbow path are 60% more combo damage, combos increased by 30%, attack speed increased by 15%, combo damage increased by 140%, shooting 3 additional bullets during combos, and fire 2 bullets during basic attacks, so we will be building our archer around those bonuses. Starting out with pals, we will need the pirate octopus for 60% more combo damage, hero bird for 15% more attack speed, chicken hood for 30% more basic attack damage, cowboy cactus for 40% more damage every 3 basic attacks, and tipsy snail to reduce enemy movement speed by 40%. If you happen to have righteous banana, use him instead of the snail since you get 100% more combo damage and 10% more combos with him. For skills, we will need clone strike to make a clone of ourselves that does 200% more damage with basic attacks, wild gust to increase our attack by 15%, smoke bomb to increase all damage by 30%, coin bomb to increase basic attacks by 35%, and speed surge to increase attack speed by 30%. Both the skills and pals are set up to make it so we attack really fast with high damage, making it so we can do high burst damage and kill everything very fast. For relics, you will want King Mask for more combos, Bless Dew for increased combo rate from Cowboy Cactus, Flame Book for increased attack, Crystal Statue for 30% more basic attack damage, or Time Statue for all damage to be increased by 50%, and Storm Necklace to increase our clone's damage from Clone Strike. For the other relics, use what you want. For gear, you really just need to be getting the highest rarity that you can. None of them do anything special. For the mount, level this up as high as possible, but if you have the Koi Paper Kite, use that for 500% damage every 3 combos. On your Shroomite statue, you will want to get all combo damage or attack damage. If you have the Chaotic Warlord Hammer or Candy Gatling Artifact, use those for more damage to basic attacks and combos, otherwise just use the default artifact. The Warlord Hammer is the better artifact between the two. And of course, make sure you are getting all your bonuses from the tech park. These benefit your stats a ton. And that'll do it for this guide. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.